Well, it's day four, four days in, and it's raining right now. But that's why in episode three, we actually built our chair slash table shelf for all of our gear and put it underneath the tarp. Planning ahead and having that stuff ready in case it does run in, in case you do run into inclement weather is very, very important. But once the rain stops, let's jump into the day. Tarp did its job. My chair slash table kept all my gear dry off the ground while it was raining this morning. And uh, looks like we got Zach starting up the fire for us for breakfast. Well, my gravity water bag, the 10 liters has been doing really well. It was completely full yesterday and uh, still halfway full throughout the whole day, even though Zach's been uh, cooking up the crawdad soup a lot to keep filling us up and get, giving us those extra dissolvable fats and everything. But uh, this morning, I'm gonna use this as running water. That feels good. You don't wanna waste too much though. Behind me, I've got my pecans. But um, right here, we have these cactus fruits. And right now in this season, they are getting very ripe. They taste amazing. Now, for anybody who's never had these, there are a lot of seeds in the middle. But what I'm doing right now is peeling the skin off to try to get as much of the flesh of the fruit as possible. That's what it looks like when it's ready to eat. And I kind of just eat the outside of it. Mm. That's really good. We've beaten crawdads for three days in a row. Very good meat though. It's one of the few meats, as long as I start adding to it, I probably could eat a lot. But this is a really good change of pace. Then I have my pecans and the black satchel behind me. So, the water bag, not empty or anything, but because it's the start of the day, I'm gonna go ahead to the creek and fill it up. Now she's filled up, we're good to go. Oh, duty calls. Got my uh, haversack from the Hidden Woodsman. And I'm gonna go forage. Goal is gonna be some cactus, more pecans obviously, and I think we're gonna go track down some wild onions. So, checking the trap, looks like a clever creature got in here, knocked it over, grabbed our bait, and uh, moved on with life. So, looks like we're going to have to reset this thing with some new bait here in a, in a little while. But, uh, yeah, that's what you're battling, even with modern trapping equipment. Well, luckily for us, there's a bunch of cactus here. So I'm gonna check these pads and see which ones look the best. So out of all the ones, how you see how there's some dry spots and they're getting old, that's a fresh pad up top. Those are the pads I'm gonna be looking for. All right, so for me, all these big, huge spikes and small glockids, I don't wanna mess with those. So my snake stick is actually good for way more than relocating snakes. Grab right here. Pull it off, no fuss. Ooh, 
there we go. Look at that. It's a wild onion. Did some foraging and got some green onions, some of the green cactus fruits. They're more like desert potatoes when before they turn red. And I got some glockids. I got most of the glockids off. There's still a few, so I gotta be careful. But I'm pretty sure all in all, when I get back, Zach's gonna be happy. I didn't get any pecans, which sucks. But uh, <clears throat> I think the onions and having the extra flavor to kind of spice up dinner tonight, even if it's crawdads again, I don't really care. Uh, like I said, there's those clever little buggers that are knocking over our traps. So hopefully we can figure out a way to uh, stake them down, do some bushcrafting. We're down here by the river. I've got my spear pole. Zach's got his sling bow. And I think Zach's gonna be chasing down the gar at the river point with a sling bow. And I'm gonna be about 20, 30 yards away from him with my spear. So just wait for some gar to surface and then snag him because I want some food. All right guys, so the goal, I know it's gonna be hard to hear me because I'm way down here. We have the spear, the paralyzer tips, and Zach rigging up line, the middle on the end of it, is going to hold it about six feet um, in front of the gar, so I can come down here with my spear pole, which is a little bit longer than that, and launch one at him, but he's going to be positioned a little bit higher up than me, still in frame though, hopefully, and if he gets a, sh a better shot at the same one, or we need to take one down because it's a really big six or seven footer, so we don't get pulled in, well, it's all worth it to eat good. I'm taking this. Shit. down there because everything is just sinking in. They keep hitting it. I got the last minnow. Gonna put that on the line and hope for the best. Yes! Oh! oh what the heck? We had some seriously awesome close calls with the gar, with the spear. It was amazing. We had the minnow trap set out with the poles, like you saw. Uh, we did get skunked. It's okay though. We had some really good hits and it lets me know they're out there. We can try again tomorrow. But thankfully, and this is the big reason why you do not put all your eggs in one basket. This is why we go down to the creek and set out minnow traps in hopes of catching anything and everything. We are relocating them, rebaiting them, and a uh, new method of attack. We're going to be putting them next to some logs and making sure that they are more difficult for the creatures, armadillos, gophers, raccoons, whoever, to knock them over. It's dinner time. And I am gonna be burning the glockids off. The prickly pear that I harvested earlier today. <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna process these down, kind of like potatoes. I'm not gonna spend a crap load of time after, now that we've gotten all the glockets burned off. I really wanna extract a lot of these carbohydrates. I am enjoying crawdads, really good. But at the end of the day, I want a more complex meal with more vitamins, more antioxidants, more things that my body needs for energy and sustenance. 
Think of these like a pit of an avocado. Best way to look at it. I don't want to take the meat out. I just want to get rid of a lot of these seeds because they can back you up and make you really constipated if you consume too many because they're hard to digest. Just like this. I think in the morning, because of these extra bits of food that we're getting, we'll have more energy and we'll have a renewed sense of vigor. We're not going to add a lot of water. I just want just a little bit to allow the onions to caramelize, which will be really good. It's going to be a nice change of flavor pace for us. And the rest of this is just going to really round out the rest of our meal. Here's some of the... Ooh, that's a lot. Look, that came out extremely fast. But uh, there's the wadobo sauce. I'll mix that around a little bit. Oh, how does that look, guys? This is mega appetizing. This... Alrighty, right there in the coals. Should be just fine. This has been on the heat for a whole minute. Ooh, I really, really wish you guys could smell this. This smells absolutely divine. Borderline home cooked. Oh, man. We get veggies and crawdads. We're eating like kings tonight. Day four is over. Super excited and super pumped about the foraging that I got accomplished today. We got skunked on the gar. Not a big deal, though, because we are putting multiple eggs in multiple baskets. We are not holding out hope for one particular method to catch us food. We are doing everything we can to be able to get some traps done in the water, traps done on land, hunting and actively fishing as well as passively fishing. We are doing absolutely everything we can get a hold of to make sure that we are going to have all the food and calories we need to keep going and just blast this challenge out of the water. So. I feel a lot better now that I got all those really good veggies and all that really good food in my system. It was just absolutely delicious. But, um, and I know Zach enjoyed it as well. But um, definitely make sure that you're watching Zach's channel as well because there's gonna be certain things that happen on his channel and certain things that happen on my channel that aren't gonna happen, that are not necessarily mutually exclusive. But um, it just about does it for now, guys. On day five.